Hi everyone, Morgan here. So I originally posted a video and I had uh, attempted to boil some water with candles with the lid off. This is two cups of water in there and I wanted to see if it would boil it with the lid off. I did this very specifically, but of course in every video that I do, I have to explain every minutia detail of why I do this and why I do that, etc., etc. I did it without the lid because in a normal circumstances under better fuel sources, uh, I would be able to boil this without a lid on, okay? Yes, a lid helps, a lid helps to keep the heat in. I know that, okay? <laughs> That's just uh, basic, you know, science, all right? But um, what I'm doing here is I have two things. One, I'm cooking spam over there. spam over there. I have six candles under there with a lid. And then I have over here two cups of water again with a lid. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take it one step further and I'm going to attempt to actually cook rice in here, okay? So, just to clarify, in my original video, I wanted to boil water without the lid on to see the efficiency of these candles. I didn't explain that in the first video. I'm sorry. That's my bad, okay? So, what I am doing here now is I'm going to be testing the efficiency to actually make a real meal. Okay, you can eat spam, you know, cold, it's not a big deal, but people like to warm it up. So let's try to warm it up a little bit, cook it a little bit, see if I can, and try to actually cook some rice. So let's do it. And we're off. By the way, not all flames are created equal. The flame from this candle, the fuel source that it is using, the wax, is a lot different than the fuel source that you would use, say, um, you know, like an alcohol stove or even that cardboard and wax, you know, or even making a fire with wood. Those are different fuel sources and they will create different uh, hotter flames, bigger flames. They will create different types of flames that will emit different types um, of heat, okay? These candles only emit a certain amount of heat. So not all flames are created equal. Hmm, been 17 minutes and still no boil, even with a lid on. And this is heating a little bit, I think. Yeah, this is heating. Yeah, that's heating pretty good. So, as I said in the very first video, candles are great for heating. But when it comes to cooking, I am not sold. But let's go ahead and see how long it's going to take to cook this rice. I'm going to say that the best method if you want to use candles to cook food, they use candles to heat food. <laughs> I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm really trying to prove something in this video, because I am, okay? As I'm going to prove the same point in this video that I proved in the first one, um, that candles are an efficient method to warm food, but they're not an efficient method to cook food. I mean, the water still isn't boiled, and then you have to then cook the rice after the water, water has boiled and to keep a um, hot enough temperature to cook the rice. So will the rice cook, you know, not at like a full boil? Yep, I mean, it'll take a lot longer. This just is not going to be an efficient method to cook food, to warm food, to get water to a warm point so they make like some instant coffee like someone had mentioned. Yes, yeah, sure, 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 sure. I'm totally down with that. I'm down for warming up food, but um, to use candles as a way to cook food, it's just not a, a good method. It's At just about 40 minutes, the Spam is sufficiently warmed. Mm. Mm. It has been just about one hour and still no boil. You can see that it's trying and I'm not taking that lid off, right? You can see that it's trying and it's getting warmer and hotter, but it is not at a boil. I accidentally stopped the timer, but this started boiling um, about 15, uh, it was one hour, 15 minutes. So it had been an hour, it hadn't boiled, it was almost there. So it was uh, 15 minutes later, it got stopped because I, whatever. Anyway, it's been 15 minutes, okay? So it's been one hour and 15 minutes later that it has finally started to boil. So I am now 
go ahead and I just restarted the timer for 20 minutes to see if that will efficiently cook the rice. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes uh, since it started to boil and actually cook the rice. The rice is looking good. It actually looks like it's going to be about another 10 minutes and the rice should be done. I am going to come to the exact same conclusion that I came to in my first video. Whether you saw it or not, here's my conclusion. I think candles are an amazing way to heat food. You can even heat the water, you know, get it warm. I, it took an hour to heat two cups of water. So in my first video, it had been two hours and it hadn't boiled. In this video, because of the lid, yes, it took half the time to boil. But an hour to boil water, that's an insane amount of time, a insane amount of resources. There are much better fuel options, okay, that you should be storing. Now, I think candles are fine as like a super backup, right? So like if this is your only option and all you have are candles, and you're like, oh, I just gotta, you know, heat up something real quick. Cool, you know, heating with candles, great option, I think cooking with candles. I just don't think it's an efficient way to do it. Um, you know, can it do it? Sure. That's not really the point though. It's really inefficient. And, um, you know, thank you all for pointing out to me, you know, <laughs> the whole lid and everything, but I still believe that this is just an extremely inefficient way of doing it. Um, of cooking food, heating food and heating up some water and stuff like that. I think it's fine. Um, you know, to use candles if you want or need or whatever. And if you need to cook with candles, okay, just know that it's going to take a very long time. And so be ready for that. Thank you all so much for watching Conquer Tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to y'all later. Bye.